Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the OCP, the original uh, Copycats podcast. It is Saturday, and it's time to party. Sorry if I just spit in your ear. <laughs> um, yeah, it's time to party, unless you work weekends, then I am so sorry. I've been there. It sucks. But hopefully you get some time off over the Christmas period. And that shouldn't be too long now, as Christmas is only eight sleeps away. This time next week, it'll be Christmas Eve. Mad. So as we continue counting down the sleeps, we are visited by another one of the Yule Lads. The name of this one is another ridiculous one, which will be revealed later. Although, saying that, it does actually say the name of the Yule Lad in the title of this episode. So... Spoiler alert, it's Bowl Liquor. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> introducing Bowl Liquor. What is it with a fucking licking? Like, bunch of perps. <laughs> Care to explain yourself? Your mother says as you stand in amongst the various pots and patches of orange liquid that litter the floor. I'm not sure you'd believe me even if I tried, you say with a slight roll of the eyes. Try me, she says as she towers above you, her pink dressing gown tied tightly around her waist. You look down at the floor at the mess and her matching pink slippers, which were inches away from the remnants of the supper you had slept through. It wasn't me, you start, but you're instantly cut off by your stern-faced mother, hands on hips and lips pursed. Oh, who then? Your father isn't here to blame this time. Was it the invisible man? No, it... it was... what? Was it magical elves? You look at her, unsure of what to say. Do you tell her the truth? <laughs> Would she even believe such a crazy story? Did you even believe it? She looked at you for what felt like an eternity, her face changing expression from stern to confusion, then to one of worry. It wasn't the magic elves, was it? You continued to stare at her face. Oh no. They're back. I thought they'd left us alone after we moved, she said. You still have nothing to add. Did your mother know of these strange creatures? And did she just refer to them as elves? I'm guessing this one liked soup or something? She asked. Pots, actually, you find yourself saying. Then it occurred to you. Wait, so, hang on. You're, you're telling me that you knew of these things and you never told me. She looked at you slightly sheepishly. Um, I... I didn't want to scare you. You look at her. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I get that, but these guys are licking spoons and stuff. It's, it's not like they're doing anything bad. At least they don't eat humans. Just stay away from the cat, she replied. What cat, you ask? Doesn't matter. So, have you had the one that slurps the foam off of milk yet? Together you tidy the kitchen up while your mother tells you of the tales of her childhood growing up with the Yule Lads, as she called them. The next day was filled with you telling your mother about everything that had happened to you over the last few nights. When it came to say goodnight, you wondered, for the first time, in excitement, what Yule Lad would pay you a visit tonight. You had brought upstairs with you your new asker, a wooden bowl with a lid, you bought it at a Christmas market last week and was now able to finally use it. The man that had sold it to you said that it would be great for ice cream, so that's what you intended to use it for. Inside your Asker bowl, you had a rather generous helping of insert flavour here ice cream. You wondered to yourself whether the spoon guy would turn up again, but you had a feeling he wouldn't. The bowl was nice. It held the contents a minimum requirement for a bowl, but it was better than having it on a plate. I mean, when it came to the question of plate or bowl, it was a no-brainer. 
You placed the asker down after finishing the last mouthful. You hadn't even let it go when a hand shot out from underneath your bed, gripping the bowl tightly. You shout as you're scared out of your wits. You rip your hand away and let the bowl disappear into the darkness under your bed. Next thing you know, you hear a loud licking noise. No doubtedly the next creature having a whale of a time with the bowl. You decide to stay on your bed. I mean, you weren't going under there after him. But then, before you can even place your head back onto your pillow, the creature darts out from under your bed and runs out of your room, bowl in hand. Hey, that's mine, you say, getting up out of bed and now in hot pursuit. But he was gone. How the hell had he gotten away so quickly? Ah, plot convenience. <laughs> so that was bowl liquor. Self-explanatory. Um, this guy likes to hide under beds and steal bowls. To be honest, some of these Yule lads don't really have a lot of info with them. Hence the extra stuff going on in the story. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Uh, join me again tomorrow for the seventh Yule lad, who will remain a secret until tomorrow. Uh, actually, to be fair, like you'll probably find out tonight because I'll post an Instagram story about it. Yeah. Anyway, as always, uh, go and leave us a 28-star review on Spotify. That would be great. Thanks very much. And that's it for me today. See you tomorrow and have a good weekend. Care to explain yourself? Your mother says as you stand in amongst the various pots. Various, various. You look down at the floor at the mess and her pit. Pitching mank slippers. <laughs> That's meant to be matching pink slippers. I said pinking. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, it's so late, man. Fucking hell. It wasn't me, you start, but you're instantly cut off by your stern-faced mother, hands on hips and lips. Per <laughs> it wasn't me, you start, but you... <sighs> it wasn't me, you start, but you... <sighs> wow. The man that had sold it... Why can't... <laughs> Instead, your Asker bowl... Instead, fuck me. Inside your Asker bowl... Hey, that's mine! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Hey, that's mine, you say, getting up. Get, oh, mm. Fuck you. So that was bowl liquor, self-explanatory. Uh, this guy likes to hide under beds and still, still a <laughs> And uh, that is it for me to... Uh, wow.